A lot of violence is breaking out between couples and marriages. Fuck boy, fuck girl. Because of a Taurus. So, there is a Taurus who is making couples and marriages have violence because somebody got caught having a fuck boy, fuck girl. That is a Taurus. Someone is playing with fire, a dangerous game that someone could get hurt. False information. -ing. So, pretty much, there is a problem between couples and marriages. It is because the person chose a fuckboy, fuckgirl that's a Taurus. That pretty much they chose whores, sluts, succubus, vampires, strippers, low standard people that don't care over the person that they're married to or has a relationship with. They are unbothered. It don't give a fuck. They're over it. On to the next thing. So pretty much whoever this Taurus is, being a home wrecker, a false informationing, <laughs> is causing people problems where they're playing with fire. Or another scenario, or unless some Taurus is jealous and is falsely accusing on somebody's relationship or marriage, that's where playing with fire will come in, false informationing. Because they want them and they can't have them. Those are two different scenarios that I'm picking up on. Keep that to the side. Someone is about to go to jail for fighting. That would be probably domestic violence going on. Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl being a player who could not tell the truth. Someone is using sex for money, which is a Pisces. So that's what it is. Seems like a Pisces is using someone... There's a Taurus and a Pisces is being a player and is using people for sex and money. So there's two different scenarios going on. What else is going on with this? <clears throat> Don't want no feelings right now. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. So pretty much, don't get mad when I pull a you on you. So, pretty much, there's somebody who's being a player and somebody is about to pull. Pisces is pulling something upon somebody. And somebody is going to pull a Pisces on them. So, pretty much, it's saying that whatever this Pisces was doing to somebody else... They're going to pull the same thing on a Pisces. So, don't get mad. Pretty much. 
but they're not see but the weird part is that the Pisces is using six for money but this person is not going to do the same exact same thing they're just probably gonna tell a Pisces it's a beautiful day to leave me alone it is because the Pisces is doing something they're not supposed to be doing let me see let me get some piles here what is a different what is this brand new what is this pile going to be about okay before I pick it up. Yeah, if my cards want me to pick them up. What's a little bit more behind this? Let me get some cards on about the couples and arguments. Couples, violence, breaking out marriages. Okay, why is this going on? What is this going on about? What is this? complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual emotional growth so pretty much the couples need to do research on to why there's violence marriages and couples need to figure out why is there violence going on now that there's violence going on between the couples Now, the fuckboy, fuckgirl, Taurus, falsely information played with fire. Since this Taurus played fire between a couple and marriages, now they want to move on from causing havoc. Pretty much. They just caused issues in somebody else's relationship. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So pretty much that's what's going on here. Let me get one more card real quick. A significant life event, a powerful revolution that leads to change. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player so pretty much how the way I'm getting this also is that the couples and marriages are not being a team player about a Taurus being a fuck boy fuck girl who played with somebody's relationship or marriage was falsely informationing and was playing with fire so pretty much the couples marriages need to be a team player to understand why the Taurus fuck boy fuck girl was falsely informationing upon these people pretty much they need to be a team player of figuring this out so that it can stop fighting pretty much let me see uh, what are my angel cards got to tell me? Soulmate. So pretty much between the couples and marriages have a soulmate 
that needs to do research to why a fuckboy fuckgirl was wanting to mess up your romance with false information and playing with fire. A Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl wants to move on because they know that they succeeded in messing up your romance. Joy, a job well done. It's a manifestation that somebody knows the truth and somebody is in denial of the truth. Now, that... Now that somebody is catching on between couples and marriages, now somebody's manifesting this to a Taurus, that's a fuckboy, fuckgirl, who is playing a dangerous game, false information, a Taurus, fuckboy, fuckgirl, cause a couples and marriages to want to fight. It's, there's going to be a celebration once these people be a team player then they're going to need balance balance everything out meaning like there's probably going to need to be forgiveness people need to balance out their emotions because of a fuck boy fuck girl Taurus really screwed with their emotions and feelings towards a person over false information and it is divine timing to come out. Somebody needs to go into nature and this Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl is got a new lover or rekindled love would be that the whore, slut, succubus, vampire, strippers, low standard women that would explain it. So, why screw up somebody's relationship or marriage if you have whores and sluts on the side? Why screw up somebody else's relationship and romance with false information and playing with fire? Somebody is finally seeing it in their dreams for what it is. There will be music of joy. Archangel Michael is here. To help out these couple to study and heal and get freedom away from this Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl. And one of the couples, one of the marriages, it don't matter if it's a female or a male. Somebody is getting freedom away from a Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl. So whoever caught on. Archangel Michael is showing people in their dreams that Archangel Michael is showing couples and marriages in their dreams what this Taurus was really truly about. Now the relationship needs healing and getting freedom away from this Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl because somebody stayed in their power of not letting a Taurus get to them they had an answer prayer which is why Archangel Michael's here and they will have serenity they're seeing signs of it that this Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl is up to no good need meditation to balance themselves out a guardian angel is here to help Someone to have spiritual growth. Some of them cannot self-accept themselves of being played by a narcissistic person. And now some of them can accept that it wasn't the couple or marriage's fault. Because there will be new beginnings After everything they figured out, that things look like it's going to be getting better, it's going to be a miracle that this Taurus fuckboy fuckgirl gets out of your guys' lives. 
and then can stay out of your marriage or couple problems because this Taurus couldn't surrender and release the fact that they were wanting to cause your relationship or a couple havoc just because they didn't because they couldn't have you don't mean it's okay for them to come in your lives and want to play with fire and your angels are telling you to listen so pretty much there's a lot of stuff going on that this Taurus did cause false information upon somebody to cause a fight to cause havoc and you do have support to back you up about this Taurus fuck boy fuck girl was playing with fire and falsely information on the person you have support backing you up abundance and friendship now I get a weird vibe off of this I get the feeling that there's something about abundance and friendship this is gonna be a little little difficult this might be a little strange and odd but I get the feeling that somebody Abundance means money, in my opinion. I think somebody of a Taurus, who knows a Taurus, somebody paid this fuckboy, fuckgirl Taurus to false information. Their friends of this Taurus, fuckboy, fuckgirl, I think somebody paid somebody to make couples want to fight and marriages to want to fight over false information and played with fire and that's why your angels are telling you to listen you have support archangel michael is here showing you signs that your friends just mainly betrayed you with a taurus of trying to screw up your romance, your relationship, because they couldn't surrender and release, because their friends was a part, and with this fuck boy, fuck girl, is why people are playing with fire and false informationing. So there's about one, two, three. So there's about like fourth party, including the Taurus, their friends, were falsely informationing to cause you guys this havoc. So, let me get this put away real quick. Yep. And you will possibly be getting freedom also away from the friendship. You're, you might stop being friends with certain people and you have support because you stayed in your power, you're seen in your dreams, and there will be a celebration because you're listening to your angels, you're listening to your guardian angel, that you will have freedom away because somebody couldn't surrender and release the bullshit that they pulled. Meditation, miracles, that signs were coming out. Archangel Michael was studying because now these people, the couples, marriages may need healing. Somebody needs to go into nature. Somebody tried to screw up. A new lover or a rekindled love over by false informationing it's manifestationing that this person tried to screw with your love life over false informationing it is divine timing and a soulmate and that's probably where a job well done is because now you know that there needs to be forgiveness, healing of arguing constantly over because of somebody pulling stupid shit pretty much behind your guys' back. That's one pile. Let me see. 
I want to keep that. Yeah, I'll just keep that there just in case. Okay. Now let's get to. Ooh. All right. Let me see. Someone is about to go to jail for fighting, being a player. Pisces using sex for money. Let me see. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. Don't be mad when I pull a U on you. So let me see. What is this about? Let me see. What is this about? About somebody going to jail because of fighting. Somebody being a player. Let me see, what is this all about? Using somebody, being a player, using somebody's sex for money, getting into a fight, might go to jail. Go to jail because of a fight. Let me see, what is this about? What is that going on about? Balance, need to balance, need to balance emotions, everything. Let me see. Made an unwise choice. What else do I got? So pretty much balance, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Waiting for perfect timing. Made an unwise choice is because a Pisces used somebody for sex and money, being a player, because they came into their new partnerships or contracts. So pretty much a player has more than one person in mind. Victory, good news, it's on its way. Public recognition or rewards would be that don't get mad when I pull a U on you. So, pretty much, they're being ridiculous. Yep. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. I'm going to leave that there, too. Okay. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. Okay. Let me see. Yep. So, seeing the truth of a situation. Somebody being a player. Somebody getting a loan or paying off debts. Maybe somebody had to pay off a debts. Because maybe a Pisces could be a pimp. Pretty much now, there's going to be a fight because this person was taking advantage of it. <coughs> now I get the feeling this Pisces is a pimp. <coughs> Whoops. Phone's dropping. Somebody don't like this. Oh, well. Um, the reasons why I get this feeling. Paying off a loan or paying off debts. So I feel like a person, whoever this Pisces was around, that they were helping somebody to pay off a loan or paying off debts. And this Pisces says, hmm... If I help you with this, you're going to give me sex and I'll help you. So, pretty much, there's something going on. That's seeing the truth of a situation. Somebody made an unwise choice. Because maybe somebody found out about what a Pisces is truly doing. Is possibly could be trafficking a female. 
by pushing her to do something to help her with her finances, to keep her home, give her money. And he stated that the only time he will help her in return if he or if she has sex with him, he will give her money to pay off loans and pay off debts. Anything that she is struggling with, so pretty much we're dealing with the pimp here. And that is seeing the truth of his situation. Knowing that the Pisces has got new partners or contracts. So pretty much this is more than one person that he's doing this to. And that's probably why there's going to be a fight broken out to where somebody might be going to jail is because they feel like they made an unwise choice by being a player and could not tell the truth. Or it could be that this person, this Pisces, was wanting to have sex with someone and not helping them out. It could be two scenarios. Someone using sex for money would be having sex with somebody to help them pay off their debts or loans. Or this person only used them to get money and not helping them with loans or paying off debts. I'm getting two different scenarios. And it's seeing the truth of the situation. Okay. What is this about balancing? Wait for perfect timing. So I believe the fight's going to break out. And it's going to be perfect timing of catching someone, of seeing the truth of a situation. Let me see. A guardian angel needs somebody to cooperate, to promise, and cooperation to stop this person romance made an unwise choice about using somebody for sex and money for being a player pretty much this person is saying the pisces is pretty much saying that it's a night it's a beautiful day just to leave me alone and they feel like they made an unwise choice by being a pimp and trafficking females when they should have not done it they feel like they made an unwise choice by having romance with so many females and doing that to help them. And there's going to be a lot of shit exposed. Let me see. Divine guidance. New partnerships or contracts. Now, from what I'm getting off of this card, the females that are being trafficked or being forced to be trafficked, these people are going to be getting a new partnerships or contracts. Me like maybe they're going to be getting a job and helping themselves to get out of this situation. Seeing the truth of a situation. And that's where Victory Good News is on its way. Because they got out of it. And uh, Victory Good News is on its way. Is because the person, whoever was sex trafficking of females for sex and money, that pretty much they want forgiveness, is because I believe somebody got caught. This person wants your, a Pisces is wanting your forgiveness because they know that you stopped going to them. They know that you got a job. And they know you want a relationship that is stable, that is not a pimp. They want your forgiveness. For using you for sex and money. And that's where the loans come in. Whoops. That's an answer prayer to... Whoever needed it because an answer prayer because there's people that didn't understand what this Pisces was really up to. It's reversed. This person 
couldn't figure out why this Pisces was wanting to help them pay for their debts or help them to spoil them. Now this person got an answer prayer that all this whole entire time he was putting on a persona that he was just wanting to help you. But all in reality, he was a pimp. And it's an answer prayer to why they were hiding it. And that's the seeing the truth of a situation that that's why that's why everything's going on now seeing the truth of a uh, seeing the truth of a situation is going to be a celebration that this person got away from this pimp got away from living a lifestyle that should not be there because this Pisces was doing it so well of hiding it being a player this Pisces is caught, and they're proud of whoever this is, is going to be getting a celebration because they stayed in their power. They will have spiritual growth, and they have support. And their abundance is going to look better. That, yeah, pretty much. That they are going... They're proud of this person asking God for answers to what the crap was really truly going on. Because it's not fair that women do get manipulated and caught up in that shit. It's going to be a celebration. You stay in your power. You're going to have spiritual growth. You are going to have support to get out of this situation. You are going to get support to get a job. You are going to have support to actually have a relationship to where you can have abundance. To where you don't have to, you know, do things that's forced. You stayed in your power. There's going to be a celebration. You will have spiritual growth. And you will have support backing you up. It don't matter if it's your family, friends, your ancestors. You have support that you got out of that situation. You see the truth. Of a situation for what it is. And your abundance is going to look very good. Of getting away from this. Let me see. Let me put these away and go to the next one. And that's why the person. Who pimped you out. Is wanting forgiveness. Because they're scared. That there's people going to find out. What they were truly doing to you. And they know if they get into a fight, they're going to jail. That's why they made an unwise choice by making you their slut whore or make you their traffic bitch. That's what they feel like they made an unwise choice about because you got support. There's people not liking a Pisces right now. And there's going to be victory good news of getting away from this that you got an answer prayer to why this person was using you for sex and money and you see the truth of a situation of getting out of that scenario <clears throat> let me go to the next one real quick so pretty much now that the Pisces is caught. There's somebody doing this to a Pisces. Making them their bitch. That somebody is using them for sex and money. And making them their bitch boy. So pretty much somebody on the down low. Is making somebody a Pisces their sex slave. So that's pretty strong that people can do that can easily manipulate you and then guess what it's pretty much happening back on the pisces as well <laughs> that's pretty bad now let me see now what's this going on if you have a fight to protect yourself do it because you know your truth, stand your ground. Let me see. 
So pretty much you have to fight, stand up for your beliefs, do it. If a person gets mad because you don't trust them, then they have a guilty conscience. People are being triggered because of karmics. If people are threatening you to shut up, it's only fear, guilt, narcissistic triangulation against you to scare you. He wants peace, love, after his reputation was crushed by low vibrational people. Mm. Yikes. Let me see. What is this going on? Fight to protect yourself. Do it because you know your truth. Stand your ground. What is this scenario about? What is this going on about? What is this about? False sense of entrapment. Being overly... Being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Document contracts, awakening. Okay, so pretty much the reasons why you need to protect yourself and stand your ground, stay in your truth, is because this person... Is wearing a false mask and they're upset because somebody ruined his reputation but guess what I believe somebody tried to screw with your reputation guess what now this person is reputation is being screwed with because the inflow of abundance a promising business adventure important documents or contracts so, whoever this person is, who tried to threaten you to shut you up, this person tried to do it to you, pretty much. They have a guilty conscience. They're wearing a false mask. So, I believe he wants peace, love, after his reputation was crushed by low vibrational people. So, pretty much, he tried to do it to you. You got documents and contracts of you standing up for yourself, standing your ground, knowing your truth. You know this person got mad at you because you did not trust him. They have a guilty conscience. You know they were threatening you to shut you up. Because you know this person tried to... Tried to mess up your reputation... They were trying to ruin your reputation. You got proof on it. And you have awoken to this person being a karmic. Pretty much, it's saying that joy, peace, contentment, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So, pretty much, you got proof, you got documents, you know this person was wearing a false mask. You got everything. You got documents, contracts, you got a paper trail going on. You got everything that you need to help you. Now that he tried to screw with your reputation, now his reputation is ruined by low vibrational people. You have awoken to the bullshit. Now, since you are good... You can enjoy abundance and you can have a peace of mind and successful completion of a project. So pretty much you did your job of protecting yourself, fighting for yourself, speaking your truth, standing your ground. Because you knew this person was getting mad at you because you did not trust them worth a the shit. They're wearing a false mask. You knew this person was threatening you to shut you the fuck up. You knew this person had a guilty conscience by trying to shut you up. They were threatening you to shut you up because a false self-entrapment would be 
fear surrounding fear, guilt, narcissistic triangulation against you to scare you. So you know this person was trying to intimidate you and it did not work. They're wearing a false mask. Now at the end, seeds will plant a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So since... Since you got documented contracts, you have awoken. Your completion of a project is done. And it's telling you it's an unnecessary worry. That his reputation is being screwed with now. Not yours. So I'm going to go and keep this all together. But one, two, three, four. I'm going to keep Ace of Earth, Awakening, Four of Fire, Seven of Earth together. Now, I want to know, I want to know why is this person stuck in fear mode? I want to know why is this person in fear mode? Why is this person wearing a false mask? Why is this person threatening you? Why is this person trying to get you to shut the fuck up? Because you probably know the situation to a truth. But this person is stuck in fear-based thoughts. They're stuck in negative space thoughts. They're wearing a false mask. They're not being so nice to you. Why? Why was this person doing that? What is? Why is this person stuck in fear-based? Why is this person stuck in fear-based thoughts? Why are they wearing a false mask? Why are they wearing a false mask? Why are they wearing a false mask? A fuck buddy ruined my life. And uh, I'm going to tell you something. He was taking everything out on you. And he was mad because you didn't trust him. You knew he was threatening you to shut you up because you knew he had a fuck buddy trying to ruin your reputation and pretty much feeling trapped by a threat or blo of blackmail or the threat of leaving someone is in danger. So that's why this person was threatening you. That's why you had to stand in your ground. You had to stand your truth. You had to stand your ground. That's why you got documents and contracts. Because this person was taking it out on you when you did not deserve it. You couldn't understand why they were threatening you, why they were trying to shut you up. You knew. And it has to do with an Aquarius. So you got documents and contracts on an Aquarius. That you had to stand your ground. You had to stand your truth. You had to stand your ground. You knew you could not trust this Aquarius. You knew they had a guilty conscience. You knew people were being triggered because of karmics. You knew to why a fuck buddy ruined their life. You now know why this person was threatening you. It's because this Aquarius was threatening you to shut you up. Because they were, they were fear-based, guilty, narcissistic, triangulation against you to scare you. And now, since this Aquarius tried to get you to shut up, guess what happened to him? Guess what happened? You got documents and contracts. That he was taking it out on you. Because now his fuck buddy... Ruined his reputation and you got it twice. Pretty much. That. The person. Whoever it is that ruined this Aquarius reputation. Aquarius's life has been. Reputation has been crushed. And a fuck buddy ruined their life. That's not your fault. That does not give them the right to threaten you. And guess what? Now they know that they're caught by contracts and documents. Fuck it. I'm tired of trying. It's because they know they can't hurt you. They can't threaten you. Because you know what they're up to. 
you know it exactly what they're up to. That's why you had to stand in your ground. So you had to stand in your truth. You had to stand your ground. Because you knew this person had a guilty conscience and you do not trust this Aquarius. I don't much blame you of not trusting the person. Eka do a sacred ancient Egypt protection from anyone from harm, evil attentions. Playing dirty will catch them a case. Yep. So like I said right here, documents of contracts that you have proof on this Aquarius that can catch Aquarius a case. They're going to catch a case, which they already have. That's why they were trying to get you shut the fuck up. That's why they were threatening you. That's why you had to stand in your ground. You had to stand your truth. And you knew you couldn't trust this motherfucker worth nothing. And that's why this Aquarius has a guilty ass conscience. Because they were playing dirty and it catched them a case by you having documents and contract on their ass. They are caught. It's telling you, keep the proof. Do not ignore it. Keep it. Because you may need it. Because this Aquarius just caught a case. For playing dirty. So pretty much since he took it out on you. Whatever a karmic did. Ruined his reputation. Ruined his life. That's not on you. And I hate to tell you this. But my ancestors are kind of telling me. He was stupid enough to go out there and catch something. By a crush. That's why they were doing shit because you didn't. Someone is having revengeful thoughts and that's why you got documents and contracts. Because now since this karmic, this Aquarius is having revengeful thoughts because a crush ruined their life and their reputation. Now, like I was going to say. That this person, this Aquarius, is having revengeful thoughts on you. Is because their crush may have given them something that is not curable. And that's why. That's why these this Aquarius is stuck in fear-based thoughts. They're wearing a false mask. That's why you had to stand in your ground. You had to stand in your truth. That's why you didn't trust this motherfucker, because you knew they had a guilty ass conscience. And you know they were threatening you because of what somebody else did. And threatening you to shut you up. You have all of this down. That you know that this person caught something that is not curable, and they try to give it to you, which they got they got revengeful thoughts right now. Which is not very healthy right now. So pretty much that's why you have documents and contracts. You have awoken to what they've been really pulling. It's telling you a job well done. Pretty much. A completion of a project. That this person, this Aquarius. Was playing dirty. And pretty much they already are catching a case from you having documents and contracts. That has to do with law stuff, law situations. This has to do with court. This may be physical court or this may be spiritual court. That he had no right to be taking stuff out on you because his crush that ruined his reputation, ruined his life, and possibly gave him something... That does not give the Aquarius the right to take it out on you and have revengeful thoughts towards you. You didn't tell him to go stick it in something. You didn't tell him to go do it. You didn't tell him to do all that. You see, that's why you have documents and contracts because you want to protect yourself. And that's why you didn't trust this Aquarius because you knew that they caught something from someone... And that's why they got mad. The Aquarius got mad because you did not trust them. They got pissy with you because you did not trust them. They were trying to have sex with you. And you said, oh, hail to the naw. 
I don't trust you, motherfucker, worth a shit. So, pretty much, that's why you got documents and contracts that you know this person was trying to attempt murder you by giving you something that you did not want. There are people talking about this Aquarius that he's having revengeful thoughts. There's people talking about what that person individual had that is not curable. You are protecting yourself. And from this person, this Aquarius having revengeful thoughts towards you is not your fault. They can't be taking it out on you because of what somebody else did to him. That ain't right. Let me see. Is there anything about documents and contracts I need to know about over here? From you protecting yourself, standing your ground, not trusting a motherfucker with nothing. Pretty much you don't trust, trust Devil Dick, pretty much. What else is going on with the documents and contracts that you caught him doing? He's getting pissed off how people can't mind their own business, being too nosy about your love life. Documents and contracts on that. Someone's got some secrets that issues and secret fantasies they have of you. Which is not very healthy. Let's see. They are scared out of their minds. They can't feel your energy no more. The universe is teaching them a lesson not to be hurting people because a person told them to. So that's why you got documents and contracts because this person, this Aquarius's crush, told them to hurt you by trying to give you something that you do not want. That's why you got documents and contracts. That's why you're protecting yourself. That's why you don't trust this Aquarius. Which I do not blame you one bit. I would not blame you if you took their asses to court or make, or if they catch a case. Because they can't be doing that, taking stuff out on you for no reason. False information by a karmic wolf in sheep's clothing and nasty dark energy to cause problems. Yep, and what did I, what did I just state earlier? That this Aquarius' crush was wanting to cause you problems by trying to give you something. Because the Aquarius' crush said something of false information about you to why this Aquarius has revengeful thoughts upon you. To why they want to hurt you. By giving you something that you do not want. Yeah, so they pretty much have no willpower. Whatever this Aquarius' crush told them to do to hurt you. They have no willpower. They're fucking weak as fuck. And they're also listening to false information. That their crush is karmic. Is doing falsely informationing on you to where they want to hurt you and have revengeful thoughts towards you, knowing that the karmic is nothing but false informationing on you when you haven't done anything to this person is causing problems. So pretty much that he's he's not the only one who's doing dirty work here. It's the Aquarius' crush and karmic who is doing the dirty work. And we'll catch them a case in a heartbeat. That's what you have down. Documents and contracts. Good for you. Keep all the proof that you can. Being a player who cannot tell the truth. Yep. So pretty much this Aquarius is being so manipulated and mind fucked by a crush or a karmic is being a player of playing on getting them so mad at you so that they'll have revengeful thoughts towards you is because the crush or the karmic don't want to get hurt and they want to see you hurt in the end. Someone is about to go to jail because of fighting. That would be the plain dirty will catch them a case. So it's either 
that the crush is going to begin into a fight or the karmic is going to begin into a fight. Because it's not working that they know that they're caught doing dirty work and they caught a case. That's not your fault. And there's a Scorpio involved in the mix of this. Someone who is a spiritual hater, who don't have much spiritual gifts, misleading people. So there's a crush, there's a karmic, and there's a Scorpio. So there's about one, two, three people misleading this Aquarius to want to hurt you. And misleading people, and that's what Documents of Contracts is about. You know that there's people misleading people, and the crush, the karmic, and Scorpio don't like you, and is a spiritual hater, because you know that they're misleading people into hurting you. If there are people mad because they don't fear you, it's a reflection trying to project it onto you. It's them fearing you. So pretty much this crush, karmic, Scorpio, Aquarius, they're thinking you're fearful of them, but all in reality, they're fearful of you. They're trying to project on fear that they think you're fearful of them, but all in reality, they're fearful of you. You know what I mean? That's the documents and contracts. Keep that proof if you got it. You know what they're pulling. You know what they're up to. Karmic's dying by playing... Oh, excuse me. Karmic's dying by helping people to harm someone with black magic. So, that's pretty much the crush. The Karmic Scorpio is helping this Aquarius. This Aquarius crush, their Karmic, and a Scorpio is going to die... By helping this Aquarius to harm someone with black magic. People messing with spiritual people, they will be cursed of bad bloodlines, of misery, pain, agony by their family's actions from messing with the most high bloodlines, royalty from trying to destroy high bloodlines. So this Aquarius, their crush, their karmic, a Scorpio... Is going to be cursed and is going to die from double daddling and black magic of trying to hurt you. You got this down in documents and contracts. That's why they got that's why they got revengeful thoughts on you. That's why they're a spiritual hater. Because now people won't won't believe them now that they're misleading people. They're not speaking truth. They're a spiritual hater because they don't like you speaking truth. Let me see. And they all have a guilty ass conscience. People getting mad of getting caught by spiritual people. That's the documents and contracts. Now, like I said, that pretty much the documents and contracts could be in physical, meaning the real reality. Or this is spiritual court in the spiritual realm that this is spirituality. So pretty much you got both. That got it. You got people in the physical knowing this in court. Then you got people knowing this in the spiritual realm. Spiritual court as well. You got both that are on it. Keep your documents and contracts. Keep it. Because your ancestors are working with you. The karmics have the evil eye on the DF and DM. You know what they're pulling, and the universe has documents and contracts. People getting nervous because of how you know everything. That's their guilty conscience. That's why they're going to catch a case. Remember what I said about you don't trust them worth a shit? That's why they want to have revengeful thoughts, is because they're nervous because you know everything and anything. They know that you know a lot more. You know everything. 
and they can't accept it how you know everything without being told. Someone is doing fraud upon a person. So just like I said, that's why you're keeping documents and contracts because you know that these people, the Crush, Kermit, Scorpio, Aquarius, was doing black magic of trying to do fraud upon you, which playing dirty will catch them a case. It don't matter if it's in the physical or if it's in the spiritual realm. You will catch a fucking case by playing dirty. Horrible addictions from low vibrational people that are nasty karmics. So there's about more. So there's about one, two, three, four karmics can meet a whole bunch in a group who hate you. So pretty much this is a smear campaign against you. This is people who hate you. They're watching, stalking you. They're watching, stalking you hardcore. It don't matter. They could be driving by your home. They could be watching your Facebook. They could be watching your social media. They could be watching your YouTube of how, how you know everything. So pretty much you're making people really fucking nervous of how you're catching people and it is coming to the light. So let's say for an example, let's say that you've talked about things, you explained yourself and how your suspicions of what's really truly going on, but you don't know yet. You have been right the whole entire time and that's why these people are fearful of you because you have spiritual gifts. They know that you can catch people in a heartbeat. That's why they're stalking, watching you to make sure that they don't get caught. They're trying to do something of the black magic of stalking you. They could be also ash projecting to you, stalking you as well. I want to mention that too. Someone is pissed off because they couldn't control the other person because they stood. Well, I was about to say stand in their ground, stood in their ground. I don't know where that came from. Okay, try it again. River. Someone is pissed off because they couldn't control the other person because the person is more masculine than what they are. So pretty much there is a lot of shit going on. Pretty much they're a bugaboo bitch. So there's about Aquarius, Crush, Kermic, Kermix, Scorpio, a bugaboo bitch. All these people are pissed off at you because they know you're more masculine than what they are. They're too weak-minded, and they're pissed off and have revengeful thoughts is because if you, if you, if I cut you off, chances are you handed me the scissors, so you did the right thing by cutting these people off. And these people, they slept with their friend and got caught. So pretty much this could be anybody, the Aquarius they slept with the Crush, they slept with the Kermic, they slept with the Scorpio, they slept with a Kermic or a Bugaboo bitch who caught an Aquarius of sleeping with their friend and got caught. That's why they got revengeful thoughts and that's why these people are being a spiritual hater because they know that you're speaking truth. They don't like you and they're misleading a lot of people. Energy vampires. So pretty much they want to take your energy the fuck away from you because you understand the situation. The reason why they're being an energy vampire is because you got documents of contracts on their asses. They know there's people in the physical who knows this and they know people in the spiritual realm who knows this. People spiritually attacking people in their sleep which be, would be why possibly you cut people off. Which you have every right to cut people off if they're trying to hurt you. You have every right to have a document and contract on these people. You have every right to cut them the fuck off if you need to. Cut them off. Because they're only exposing themselves. Karmic is a psycho fucking bitch acting crazy, insane, threatening, dangerous. So that's why you also got documents and contracts is because there's karmics acting fucking psychotic. So you got Aquarius, a crush, karmics, bugaboo bitch, and you got a Scorpio acting psycho, acting a 
crazy fucking bitch or a crazy bastard acting crazy, insane, threatening, dangerous. So that's why these people are nervous because of how you know everything. They're acting psychos. They're acting fucking crazy. They're acting insane. And they're threatening to be dangerous because of how you know everything. And you want to know why they're having revengeful thoughts and acting fucking crazy is because you know that there's people in a group trying to attack you. You know it. You've seen it. They're not very smart and they're not very secretive. You've known this for a very long time that there were people in a group trying to attack you. You knew it. A lover wants to come back to make things right. That would be their fucked up mentality. That's somebody who either the Aquarius did or whoever fucked up their Aquarius reputation. Somebody wants to come back and make it right. But that don't give somebody the right to want to go psychotic and crazy and fucking insane on a person. So, just like I said, people abuse their spiritual gifts. They will no longer have them so just like i said you have documents and contracts to what these people are doing these people are freaking out because they no longer have their spiritual gifts they are abusing them and you have documents and contracts and so does the spiritual realm spiritual court have proof of these people abusing their spiritual gifts they can no longer feel you and they are scared of the unknown right now. Finding key to happiness. Stay away from assholes and bitches. You speak truth and act crazy. It's because they can't lie upon stuff no more. So that's why these people are pissed off. When you speak truth, these people are saying you act crazy or you're crazy. Is because guess what? Someone's being real. Someone's being fake. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Vultures in a circle. Vultures approaching, circling, and a Leo. A Leo is involved, and so is a Capricorn again. Someone needs to be put in check, put in their place. Karmics will get their karma from trying to hurt the DFDM. So, like I said, there's a lot of individuals involved again. That these people don't like you because you're speaking truth. They call you crazy. Someone's being real. Someone's being fake. There's vultures approaching, which is a Leo. There's a Capricorn involved again. Someone needs to be put in check. Be put in their place. Because karmics will get their karma from trying to hurt the DMDF. So pretty much these people are trying to call you crazy is because you're speaking truth. That's why you make these people shake in their boots. Because they, they're they nervous because you know everything and anything. There's a Gemini involved. Why they're getting nervous as well. They're bringing in a lot of people. Who's playing dirty and will catch them a case. In a heartbeat. Someone is in deep, fearful, regret, pain, agony, tormented thoughts. That would be all these people who have planned to hurt you with false information and do a fraud upon you. Like I said, these people are fearful of you. Because you know everything of what they're doing. Even a Gemini is feeling fearful, regret, pain, agony, tormented thoughts with all the rest of these people. Even the Aquarius, the Crush, Karmix, Bugaboo Bitch, Leo, and Scorpio. All these people are fearful of you. Eh. They're all fearful of you. And then we got a Vir we got a Virgo. That is someone's new lover. So pretty much we got a Virgo. Virgo. 
new lovers also in agony, painful thoughts. He knows people have messed with your love life out of envy, jealous. He knows people don't want you to have nobody, a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband, whatever. So these people know exactly what this Aquarius is up to and he's got too many people involved. So pretty much they know that there's people envy and jealous of you. They know it. They know it. He can't face you from the hurt and pain that was caused from other people was controlling him to do it. Now he's heartbroken that he pushed you away. Well, guess what? That's their fucking fault. For causing people to have violence. Yeah, a lot of violence is breaking up between couples and marriages is because of a Taurus of a fuck boy, fuck girl. Someone played with fire that someone could get hurt. They're false informationing. So you have documents and contracts and that's why these people are terrified of you. You make them nervous out of their fucking wits. You're scaring the shit out of them. And you're even scaring the shit out of your ex-baby daddy. You're scaring the fuck out of these people. And that's who all these people got involved to circle you, trying to attack you. Someone is trying to send negative energy would be the ex-baby daddy. So yeah, pretty much you got these people shaking in their boots, pretty much. Of how you know everything. And like I said. Not using protection. Giving something to someone. Because they think the shit is funny. When it's not karma be at play. <laughs> so if you have to go back. And listen to what I said. That the reasons why you don't trust a motherfucker. Is because you know. That the karmic or crush. Gave something to this Aquarius. That you know. They're trying to give something to someone and you don't trust a motherfucker. You may have to go back and re-listen. I don't know where it's at because I'm talking a lot right now. So, if something don't feel right, don't ignore it. So, you knew something wasn't right with all these people of why they want to come after you. It's because they want to try to give you something and they're going to think it's funny. Well, guess what? All these people are getting karma because it's not funny. And that is attempted murder. If you're trying to give somebody else a sex disease just because your other individual was being a hoe, being a slut, being a man whore, being a fuck boy, fuck girl. Don't give you the right to come out here to hurt somebody else because of what your significant other did. That does not give you the right to hurt somebody. If you don't like me, it's probably because I didn't want you to. So pretty much you got even you got all these people who are pissed off out of their minds at each other. So pretty much they're even going after each other themselves. The ones who are involved. The ones that are involved trying to hurt you, they're going after those people as well. If you have acknowledge or information to help, speak up. About it could save a life. So there are people hearing rumors. People are hearing people talking at the bars. It don't matter. People are hearing what's been truly going on. And you've got documents and contracts. Well guess what. There are some people who have documents and contracts. That will have your back. That you are not fucking crazy. They've probably heard you talk about it before. Your suspicions. On who's involved and what's going on. You do got people who have documents and contracts against these people as well. If they speak up. People are jealous because your bloodline is very powerful. That would be to why they're upset. And that's why they're nervous of you. Is because they're jealous of you. Because they know your bloodline is very powerful. Of how you know everything and how you catch people, pretty much. That's what it is. That's why they're jealous of you. Because you had a very, very powerful bloodline going on. They're intimidated by you, actually. And that's why they want to try to take you out. And that's fucked up. 
they're trying to hurt you just because you got a very powerful bloodline. So you got very powerful ancestors because they give you what you need to know. And I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't know if this is true or not. But I'm pretty sure others can pick up on this if they're very spiritual as well. I believe there is some type of person named Mary that's a Native American who gave me the nickname Little Aries. If anyone else can pick up on her, but I don't know if that's her or not that's here. She was the good witch. And I believe I got witch doctors that are Native Americans and I also got witches in my family. So, if anybody can pick up on her, Mary, pretty much. If not, that's alright though, but I was nicknamed Native American Little Aries when I was a little baby. I believe she was the good witch, but I'm not 100% sure. So, whoever feels her here, you'll know who I'm talking about. If not, I'll be alright and it might be somebody else just playing with me. He feels bad for not listening to you about a warning or something of the unknown. He couldn't understand how you knew call things out before it happened. So that's why, like I said, these people are mad at you. Because of how you know what's coming your way. Like if you spoke upon it and people overheard you. They know that you're not dicking around. They know you're being serious. Karma is being sent back to the sender for spiritual attacks, sending demons, witches, screaming banshees, warlocks, anything evil trying to hurt someone, even a voodoo priest. It will not work. It's coming back to the sender. So whatever this Aquarius and everybody else was up to, it's going to be sent back to the sender. And that's what they're nervous about as well. He's sorry for letting people attack you, spread rumors, lies on your name badly. That's just a form of manipulation. The reasons why they're saying sorry is because they're fucking caught and they don't want karma. And they got passive aggressive about it. So, these people are not sorry that they let... They let people attack you, spread rumors, lies on your name badly. They're not sorry about it. I'm sorry to say that they're not. Because if they were sorry, they would have stood up for you. These people don't want to stick up for you. And that's a secret admirer. He was a part of it as well. He's not sorry. It's a form of mindfuckery, reverse psychology bullshit. You wasted the second chance I gave to you. So pretty much that's why people are fearful. Because you gave in a second chance to Cancer Sagittarius to knock off their shit. Causes problems and runs away like a little bitch. So you got a Cancer and a Sagittarius you gave a second chance to. But they're causing problems and running away like a little bitch. Enemies shaking in their boots. They don't know what to do. Copycat energy. Trying to be like someone. Trying to act like the other person. So you got copycats out here trying to act like you. Trying to be like you. And it don't work. Someone is flipping out that their lover has spiritual gifts. Now, good question is. I'm picking up on two different things here. Someone's flipping out because their lover has spiritual gifts. Or two, they're flipping out that the old lover that who used to date them, they're just now finding out how powerful of spiritual gifts you have. You have awoken to a lot of shit and they haven't. Because they need spiritual growth. They need to stop screwing with you and they need to stop hurting you. And that's why these people are shaking in their boots. Someone is using sex for money. And as a Pisces, again, coming out in a different reading. Now, this is weird. Uh-huh. Black magic is involved. To why Pisces is using sex for money. It's all black magic, pretty much. And he's probably a warlock. I only roll with goddesses. 
So pretty much if you roll with goddesses, you don't have to do black magic. You don't have to dibble daddle in anything black. It comes naturally to you. <coughs> trying trying to seduce a new lover interest would be that they're they're trying to seduce this warlock is trying to seduce a new lover with black magic. The devil's work is going to be banished. It is not welcomed. This is God's work. Country only. So all these people who have done black magic, who's been doing the devil's work, you're going to be banished. This is God's land. This is not the devil's territory no more. If you're working with something, of something evil, you will be ban ooh, be banished. Stay real, stay loyal, or stay away from me is how you're feeling right now towards people. Because you know there's people being fake as fuck. You know there's people doing shit. Divine Masculine feels bad for getting his divine. No, you don't. No, you do not. You do not feel bad for getting your divine feminine hurt by crazy fucking karmics. Because if you did, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. You can't believe he let people make him be cold towards you. That he knows you're fed up. That he doesn't have the willpower to speak for himself. And did I just say that earlier without it coming out? That pretty much these people have no fucking willpower. They do not have the willpower to speak up. Being a magnet and don't know why. Well, that's why you're being a magnet. Is because people are doing shit to make you a magnet. And that's why these people are getting pissed off. Because cock blocking. Don't get mad when I pull a you on you. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. That's an ex-baby mama. Is saying that because somebody. An ex-baby mama found out that someone has sideline whores. Sluts pretty much. Cheating, reverse psychology, mindfuckery, playing with feelings heartstrings. So, an ex-baby mama is mainly saying that it's a good day to leave me alone. I know that you got people on the down low. I know you got people that you're doing. She ain't stupid to it. Treat me like a joke and I'll leave you like it's funny. Someone has a secret baby. Which is probably to why the ex-baby mama said it's a beautiful day just to leave me alone. Because she knows that you got someone pregnant on the down low. He thinks you gave up on love. He knows you tried to protect him from hurt bad people, which they don't give a fuck. Someone tried to dominate and it backfired on them. So you know that somebody tried to dominate you. All these people tried to dominate you and it backfired on them. That's the documented contracts. You know people tried to dominate you and it did not work. Cancel my prescription because I'm done with your issues. So you're pretty much saying that you're done dealing with these people's issues because you already got documented contracts. Someone got pissed off because someone stood their ground, which a Leo got pissed off at you for standing your ground because you're not going to tolerate shit no more. So a Libra's getting pissed off at you for no reason. Just because you stood your ground of not tolerating nothing. You know what they're up to. You just don't want to deal with it. You have every right not to. Being nosy about a person's love life. So that's what the documents and contracts you have on these people. That they're being nosy about your love life and will not leave you alone. And also it's an old lover. Secrets coming to the light and people are not liking it because they got caught. And an old lover and ex. A ex. All these people are being exposed. It's coming. Secrets are coming to the light. That they're not like getting caught. That they're not leaving you alone. Pretty much. These people are messing with your love life. And not leaving you alone. You even got a home wrecker. Not even leaving you alone. Someone is much trying to keep a lover away for their selfish needs. That would be the home wreckers doing. A fight is going to break out, hell is going to break loose, and someone might be going to jail or get into trouble. And that's an Aries. 
Because there's people being nosy. There's people wanting a fight because secrets are coming to the light. And there's people wanting you to forgive their actions. How can you forgive their actions from how much you know of what they try to pull on you? They can't get away with their with their ways no more. And it's scaring them because everything backfired on them. Whoever they hurt this life or past life karma. So that's what I said. These people are terrified of you because you know that they had an affair and they got caught. And it caused a spiritual warfare because somebody had a secret baby. Someone is being a part of setting someone up to prove a point. Be careful who is around you have not seen before or someone acting on would be the part of trying to set someone up would be like trying to give you something that you do not deserve. There's people attacking, doing really stupid shit. And half of these people have signed their death calling by playing with black magic, blood magic, death magic, graveyard dirt magic to change people doing ritual chants dead family members are trying to help warn you what the living is doing to hurt and harm to give you a heads up so your family your ancestors whatever kind is trying to give you a heads up And there's people finally waking up to know that you're, they know that you're not a whore. He knows you have been by yourself and has secretly, he's been secretly sticking up for you that he cares, has feelings that are true. So your family members from the dead, your ancestors are letting you know that there are people the dead can only hear what the living's doing that cannot get away with it, just FYI. Thank goodness to my... Thank goodness to the family members of whoever needed to know this. That your dead family members are just giving you a heads up and warning you. That you got an individual on the down low that knows you are not a whore. On the down low, they're secretly sticking up for you. That you don't know about. Someone is drinking. They can't handle what they have done. Been with or said lies to look cool. Now they wish they could take it back. Someone feels bad for choosing the other person. Yeah. Pretty much. So pretty much. Someone is taking advantage of a good-hearted person at that, too. So, that's why you got documented contracts. That's why everybody's terrified of you is the real reason. Now, I want to know. I want to get some feelings on to why these people are doing shit. I want to know. What are the unspoken messages about? I want to know. They're in a karmic situation. Passion is strong because of black magic, because of a karmic is not even real. They're truly, madly, deeply in love with the person. They're in a third party situation, like I just explained, that people are getting caught, but they want you. They're purposely ignoring because they're stalking and watching you. Instead of worrying about the third party situation, worrying about their crush, their whores, their sluts, their prostitutes, they're ignoring them because they're not ready to talk to them, but they're, they're more concerned about you more than their whores right now. They're not ready to talk to their whores and sluts and prostitutes that they're a pimp. They're not ready to talk to their whores, pretty much. They're not ready to. They don't want the whores and sluts to lose hope. But they want them because they miss their hugs and kisses. But 
they can't sleep with you on their mind. So pretty much they're too more concerned about you. And you pretty much, you that got the documented contracts, you want them to just let you go. These people will not let you go. You want them to just let you go. And they need to move on, but they want to taste you. You don't want that. You don't want no part in that shit. And they're stalking your social media. It could be your Facebook. It could be... Yeah. They're stalking everything that you're on. Because they're more too concerned about you. And they miss the moments that they shared. One step at a time is because of a fuck buddy. They are addicted to you. They have hidden emotions. You secretly haunt them. Because you know that you're not going to chase them. They see you in their dreams. But they've been thinking about you. But they got trust issues. Because they're heartbroken. Because their life sucks right now. Because of a magic connection. They're hurt with you. Which is bullshit. Which is mindfuckery. Reverse psychology and manipulation right there. They can hear you telepathy. They want you to reach out. Because they're trying to mind fuck you. That they want you to reach out. But they've been fake busy towards the whores and the sluts and the prostitutes. They're trying to make you think. That they're fake busy of ignoring them. No. That's not what it is. They have wild thoughts. Because they're in a dark place. They're praying. They're, they're so confused. Of to how you know this. They're confused on every level. I'm so confused. The reason why they're confused is because they're sorry. Of how spiritual you are. They're confused. Of how you catch their game. You know their game. Perfectly to a fucking T. That's why they want you to please reach out. Separation's killing them. Is because they hate that you're taken. But they're doing black magic. They're secretly in love. But you're not their twin flame. And you know it. And the universe is proud of you to see this for what it is. This person, whoever they got involved, these are not your real twin flames. They're proud of you of finally awakening to the documents and contracts that you need. They text and they erase. They're wishing on a star. So, pretty much... They're spying on you. They need to drop the fucking ego. Because they can't mind fuck you no more. You have grown. Pretty much what these people don't understand. What they helped you do. They helped you grow to a level. That they cannot put the wool over your eyes no more. They cannot fuck you as much anymore. And they know that they're caught. They know it. That's why they can't screw with you so much. Because they know that they're caught. They know it. So pretty much underestimate me so I can embarrass you. So pretty much they tried to embarrass you. But on reality, the roles have switched. That underestimate me so that you can embarrass them. Pretty much. Of their mind fuckery. Pretty much you need meditation. You need to study. On all this. Pretty much. Pretty much you need to study upon it. You need to study a little bit more of the awakening. Study a new lover. Or a rekindled love. I don't know why. Or. Unless you need to study on a new lover. Or rekindled love. Or you need to. Maybe you need to study. On to why they're pulling. To why they have new lovers. Or can't keep a lover. That could be a two scenarios in my opinion. They're retreating. They're retreating because they caused problems and ran away like a little bitch. And it is divine timing. Because it's manifestationing into the reality and the physical. In the physical world. So pretty much that's why these people are terrified of you because it's finally manifestationing what they have done and the dark is coming to the light. 
So pretty much, that's all it is, pretty much, is to understanding that these people caused you problems and ran away like a little bitch. That's why you had to stand your ground. You had to stand in your beliefs. You didn't trust this motherfucker worth nothing. That's why they got a guilty conscience. You knew they were threatening you to shut you up, and you didn't shut up. You spoke your mind, but you were keeping documents and contracts. Now, since this person thought they were high and fucking mighty, now guess what? Now, whoever these people were, they fucked up their reputation. They tried to screw with your reputation, but guess what? Karma came back and bit them in the ass. That's why they're retreating from you. Because it's meant to come out. It is divine timing. It's manifestationing to why they're retreating from you. Pretty much, they're like genies. Poof! Nowhere to be found. Because you had enough of these people's bullshit. You're having people hiding out so bad. That you got these people in a very, very bad conscience guilty mind right now. They know what they have done to you. You know what they have planned. You know what they have been doing. And that's why they're running like little bitches. You knew exactly what they were doing. They need, they need meditation. They need body care. Because of what, what I just stated earlier. That these people are trying to set somebody up to give them something that they do not want. Because they think the shit is funny. Guess what? They need body care. Guess what? They're retreating. Guess what? Manifestationing. Divine timing. Retreating. There's people admiring you of how, how you know this. That's why there's people... There are people who are admiring the fuck out of you right now. And there's some people admiring the fact that they're terrified of you. And that is a weird scenario to say that. You want to know why these people cause you problems and run away like a little bitch in retreats? It's because they know you have awoken to this. And there's people admiring you of how you know this perfectly. You know, whoops, put my cards upside down. Don't want to do that. Whoops. Let me see. It's a blessing that you know that these people are an enchantment, meaning like they're stuck in an illusion. They ain't, they ain't a real reality. How the way they're feeling, how the way they're thinking, they're doing this in a fantasy world. They're not doing this in the physical. It's a blessing marrying because Archangel Michael's here. Now, I get a feeling the admiring part, I don't know why you're saying this, but okay, don't get me in trouble, that the police could be admiring the fact that how you know all this shit as well. There's some that are skeptical, and I hate to say this because my ancestors, they really need to be careful because I don't feel like starting no shit. Don't start no shit, there won't be no shit. Exactly. There's cops skeptical of you. Of how you've talked about it. Maybe they've heard you say something before. And now they're seeing it happen. There could be cops admiring you. On the down low. Of figuring out. Damn. She or he said something about this a while back ago. And it's happening now. That's a blessing. And Archangel Michael is here. To tell you that maybe there's some policemen that are admiring you. And it's a blessing that some of them get where you're getting at now. That you're not bullshit and that you're not a... You're not fucking nobody. And these people who are in chainmate cannot self-accept themselves from how badly they got exposed. And now you are being supported. Now, this is going to be weird. This is be a weird kicker. If these cops are admiring you and they know that you're the shit, they know you're speaking truth, and they know that your cards are helping you speak truth, you could be possibly having support by the police a little bit on the down low. You probably secretly on the down low don't even know it that the police is supporting you into helping you now that you probably don't know about is why Archangel Michael's here to try to protect you 
if you need it. It's a blessing in disguise. That pretty much all the shit that you got down, documents, contracts, it's pretty much saying that you have awoken. It's going to be peaceful pretty much in that it's a temporary pause in action. It's pretty much saying that whatever these people are doing to you, it's an unnecessary worry because huh, you got support now behind you. You don't have to stress about it and there will be a celebration behind it. And seems like somebody cannot self accept their romance right now. Pretty much. Seems like they cannot self accept that people's romances are going to be a little rocky. They cannot self accept this right now. Or there's people that can't self accept that maybe you're going to be having some compassion, understanding. And it's a miracle that you're going to get support. It's going to be a celebration that some people have tried to underestimate you and try to embarrass you. But guess what? The other roles have switched. Now that these people try to underestimate you so they can embarrass you, guess what? Now they underestimate you so that you can embarrass them. Guess what? It's a miracle that you're going to be getting freedom away from this. You need to listen to your angels. Because you're seeing in your dreams. Now these people who try to underestimate you to embarrass you. Now since the roles have switched. Underestimate me so I can embarrass you pretty much. That these people want your forgiveness. Because you embarrass them pretty much. Like I said, karma works in the weirdest, strangest, oddest ways that you will never imagine. Somebody needs to go in and nature, take chill pill. But your enemies are wanting your forgiveness because they know that you're not playing. Your enemies are nervous, shaking in their boots. Because they cause problems and run away like a little bitch. Now... The reasons why you got support behind you is because the law knows that you have been speaking truth. Some of them are skeptical about it and some are seeing patterns of maybe overhearing your conversation and then now they're seeing it come to fruition. Gotta understand that too. Somebody needs going to nature, take a chill pill. Now that you have documented contracts, you have awoken to everything, it's an unnecessary worry. Don't worry about it. There will be happy, peaceful times. You will be getting harmony from the situation. Friends, intuition, children. Now, from what I'm understanding, listen to your intuition. Well, intuition, what I'm getting the feeling of, that there were friends being childish and being a part in this, or this could be an ex-baby daddy, whose friends were being a part of this, and you got documents and contracts on it. Of who was involved. There are people acting childish. Of trying to embarrass you. But all in reality. It backfired. That they underestimated you. So that pretty much. You embarrassed them. And their friends. You embarrassed them. Of being childish. There will. Be music of joy. You will have serenity. Of sticking up for yourself. And protecting yourself. From harm. And there was an answer prayer. To where you can have spiritual growth. Divine guidance. Is guiding you. To your heart. 
pretty much from how I'm getting, like, I'm getting a different vibe off this card. It's an angel having their hand out to a hurt. I believe it's telling you to stick with what you know. Know what your heart feels and listen to your intuition on it. It's telling you do not ignore it. Divine Guidance is trying to help you to protect yourself into knowing what people are truly are up to. That's what I get the feeling of. It's telling you stay in your power. Stand in yourself. And to prayer to a soulmate who was acting the fuck up with this Aquarius. You're seeing signs of this that they could not surrender and release the bullshit. The guardian angel kept telling these people, knock it off with you or there will be consequences. And these people who were dibbledowling and black magic, the guardian angel was trying to warn them that, hey, look, you're being warned to stop or you will be cursed. And there is a difference. That you can't just be going out here cursing somebody for no reason. Now, if your ancestors have been warning people like over and over, like ridiculously repeating a warning and they do not listen, the guardian angel is pretty much telling these people that they will be cursed of bad bloodlines, that there is going to be death happening, that there will be black magic being done upon them, whoever they try to hurt you with black magic, it will happen to them. The guardian angel of these other ones who try to hurt you with this Aquarius, their angels were trying to tell them to stop what you're doing or this will happen to you. This guardian angel was trying to help people to stay out of it. Now, guess what? Now, since they're getting karma like crazy, they know you stayed in your power. You might be getting abundance, meaning like, since these people will not knock it off, your abundance is going to be looking better. These people need to balance out their emotions badly. They need to balance out everything. And you need to trust that everything will be okay. That you need to trust everything was told upon you about this third reading. You need to trust it and do not ignore it. You stood your ground for a reason. You had to stand in your ground. You had to be a boss bitch. You had to speak up. You are not going to let nobody tell you and threaten you to shut you the fuck up. You stayed in your power of not letting somebody intimidate you to shut you up. That's why these people are fearful of you. Because you didn't let them do it. Now these people who's getting karma needs healing to their actions of consequences. Focus on your power. Of what you know. You have ideas and inspiration. On how to protect yourself. From this. You have ideas and inspiration. How to be more playfulness. That you're not so stressed out. To the bullshit. That people have done. To you. And this is the truth. And integrity. To what these people have actually been doing. These people are pissed off. Because you found out the truth and integrity. You have found out the truth. And the reasons why you spoke truth. Well, why did I say that? That's not even out there. Okay. Truth without delivered without tact. It's not out here. But for some odd reason it was wanted to be said for a reason. So pretty much you have ruined these people's plots and plans where you have screwed up their plans so much they have nothing to do now. These people have ran out of ideas. These people have ran out of lies. These people cannot get away with it no more. That's the truth and integrity. They were causing you issues, causing problems, and running away like a little bitch. 
you have awoken to this incidence. I don't know what I'm going to call this video because it's probably long. But I'll figure something out. But just like I said, it's good that you kept a paper trail and documents and contracts. Because in God's eyes, you're helping yourself in the physical and you're helping yourself in the spiritual realm. That when judgment day comes, you don't have to worry about it. Because they know that you're minding your own business. You're not being nosy into nobody's love life. But they're sure getting a ball up in your love life. And they're being nosy about you. For no reason where it should not be. Now the people that falsely accused on you. Is to why these people want this person to come after you. Is the truth and integrity. Because... Somebody's being real. Somebody's being fake. False information needs someone being a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's the truth and integrity. To why you had to have documents and contracts. Why you had to know your truth. You stayed in your ground. You didn't trust a motherfucker worth a nothing. You knew this person had a guilty ass conscience. This person got mad at you and started threatening you. To shut you up. Because you knew something wasn't right. But all in reality... These people are fearful of you. These people have a very bad guilty conscience of what they try to do to you. They were trying to project that, oh, that these people thought you were fearful of them. No, all truthfully and all in reality, these people are fearful of you. And some of these people were looking cool, lying upon you, saying shit they wish they could take back. They cause a spiritual warfare. And everything they have done, they can no longer get away with it. Because they have ran out of ideas and inspiration on how to hurt you. So pretty much you've got these people. Where their plans and plots, since they had to change it so many times, you have ruined these people's plans and plots to hurt you. With attempted murder with a sex disease, they were trying to set you up to hurt you. You have ruined these people's ideas and inspirations that, fuck it, I'm tired of trying. You made these people drop it to where they can't, they can't do shit no more. They're caught. They have to deal with the consequences. Some of them are going to die from doing black magic upon you. And some of them are going to be dealing with whatever was done to you. It's coming back on them. That's the truth and integrity. This is all I got for you. Like I said, you have documents and contracts to what these people have been doing. You're done dealing with these people. They're scared because like... Cause Secrets are coming to the light. They know they're caught. You know there were people being nosy about your love life. You know someone got pissed off because you stood your ground. You pretty much said cancel my prescri prescription because you're done with these people's issues. That has nothing to do with you. Someone tried to dominate you and it backfired. You're saying stay real, stay loyal, or stay away. Because you roll with goddesses. You roll with the light. You don't roll with people who are followers. You're a leader. So these people are scared because they know that they ruined a second chance that you gave them. People are jealous of you because your bloodline is very high. And... If something don't feel right, your family's telling you, don't ignore it. When you spoke truth, these people lost their fucking minds. Key, key to happiness, stay away from assholes and bitches. You cut them off because they handed you the scissors. Because you knew people were spiritually attacking you in your sleep. 
Iris my case and have a good day guys.